In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the convergence criteria of Jacobi and Gauss-Seidel method. So let's take an example. Here we have a 2 by 2 square system. We can verify very easily that the exact solution of this system is x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 1. Let's try to solve this system using Jacobi method. So here is the corresponding iterative scheme. Uh, in this tutorial we are skipping the solution procedure part because we have already studied it in my other two videos so if you want to learn more about it you can watch those videos I'm sharing the links in the description so this is the corresponding iterative scheme if we take the initial solution as 0 0 then the approximate solutions up to the seventh iteration can be seen in this table in this table we can we can notice that the uh, approximate solutions of x1 and x2 they are not converging to any fixed value rather they are diverging so in this case we say that the solution is not convergent let's try to solve this system using Gauss-Seidel method and see whether we can fix this issue or not so here is the corresponding iterative scheme if we take the initial guess as 0 0 then the approximate solutions up to fifth iteration can be seen here in this table we have started from the initial solution 0 0 and we see that the value of x1 is not approaching to any fixed value similarly x2 is not approaching to any fixed value so in this case case either the solution is not convergent or we can say that the solution is divergent now the question is is there any technique through which we can verify whether the given system of linear equation has the has the convergent solution or not the answer is yes but before moving on to that discussion let's uh, understand few related concepts if you are given any square matrix a that matrix is called strictly diagonally dominant if the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry is greater than the sum of the absolute values of other entries on the same row let's consider this 3 by 3 square matrix so if the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry of the first row which is a11 is greater than the sum of the absolute values of other two rows which is a12 and a13 and the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry of second row is greater than the sum of the absolute value of the other two entries and the sum and the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry of third row should be greater than the sum of the absolute value of other two entries if these three conditions are satisfied then the corresponding matrix is called strictly diagonally dominant for example here in this matrix it is called strictly diagonally dominant because the absolute value of minus 7 is greater than the sum of the absolute value of 1 and minus 2 the absolute value of 6 is greater than the sum of the absolute value of 0 and 4 the absolute value of minus 4 is greater than the sum of the absolute value of minus 1 and 1 so in this case this matrix is called strictly diagonally dominant whereas this matrix is not strictly diagonally dominant because the absolute value of minus 7 is not greater than the sum of the absolute value of 1 and minus 9 now if you are given any system of linear equations a x is equals to b where a matrix is the coefficient matrix and if this matrix is a strictly diagonally dominant matrix then the given system have a unique solution and if you apply Jacobi or Gauss-Seidel method to find the approximate solution they should uh, converge to that unique solution let's get back to our original problem few moments ago we saw that this system does not have a convergent solution because the coefficient matrix of this system is not strictly diagonally dominant we can check the absolute value of 1 is not greater than the absolute value of minus 5 and absolute value of minus 1 is not greater than the absolute value of 7 now from elementary algebra we know that if we apply the sequence of elementary row operations on any system of linear equations it does not change its solution so by changing row 1 and 2 the equivalent system of linear equation can be written as this one now we can notice that the coefficient matrix of this system is strictly diagonally dominant because the absolute value of 7 is greater than the absolute value of minus 1 absolute value of minus 5 is greater than the absolute value of 1 which ensures that this system must have a unique solution and if you apply 
Jacobi or Gauss Seidel method to find that solution it should converge to that unique solution now let's try to solve this system using Gauss Seidel method here is the corresponding iterative scheme if we take the initial solution as 0 0 then the approximate solutions up to fifth iteration can be seen from this table we can notice that the solution of x1 and x2 is approaching to the values 1 and 1 which is basically the exact solution of this system